would have, oh, yeah. I would have liked to have been across the street. <laughs> <laughs> and the one thing I really appreciate about Def Leppard too is that, you know, after I don't know after they started touring again, they live it. You know, they got they? yeah, yeah. They background they vocals yeah, too. Yeah. See, that's hard to believe. They don't sound as good, but they're there. And so once you can get over the fact that it's they're mutt not laying twenty tracks, but they're going. Those guys are singing that though. I mean, mm -hmm. Phil Collin and um, oh gosh, the Vivian, the Vivian Campbell, yeah. and uh, you know those guys, uh, they're singing that stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they're you know the bass player's got that kind of that he's got that muttling dive that he can put in the part too. Ooh, that thing. And of course, Joe, um, still now. I mean, if you look at videos of them live when they were in their heyday, dude, Joe Elliott was just. Nailing that stuff. Was he? Yeah, I mean, just like, how do you? I just don't know how he did it. Do they have the stacks just supporting, not so hot in the mix? Are there? Listen, no stacks at all. No stacks. You're like going, ah, well, and you kind of go, yeah, but they're they're kind of just like 90125. When you heard that, you know, and just like, oh, that's Chris Squire and that's Trevor Raven, but there's nothing else there. That's just them. And what, about the second song, you're kind of like going, yeah, this is pretty cool. You know, it's not the record. It's not the you yeah. Know, all that stuff, and of course, yeah, yeah. they did it first, you know. And, and and I know the temptation is probably to, to pull it in there, but man, I've seen a lot of live videos where it was like, you know. And then keys are a lot lower too. They they down keys. So. I have no problem with that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, guitar players don't like it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, because a lot of those open chords you can't do, but yeah, you know, but, and yeah. but you know, tune into step down. You know, heck, right. King's X tunes two step down <clears throat> to C to drop C. That's what they're. That's yeah. what they're. Damn. Yeah, because Doug is, you know, is 70. <laughs> yeah, really? yeah, but he still, I mean, it still sounds good. If you listen yeah. to the, the King's X Live in, in, in uh, London, that whole concert is drop C, it's a drop D. And so you can hear the songs kind of, but it, unless you know, you know, but mm -hmm. you can hear him, he's hits them still. I got no problem with that. I mean, I, it's I don't, like, dude, dude. Yeah. If, if the singer needs a whole mm -hmm. step, give him a whole step. Give him a whole you don't step. need to be yeah. a diva. Right. Yeah. There's no ego in... Yeah. 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 And that's mm. another thing about Cetera. <clears throat> you know, people don't realize how high he sounds Jeff. to have that tone. Jeff realizes. He had yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, and, and, and they, you know, because it's run by the horn players, yeah. there's no changing keys because they don't no. want to recharge it. So it's all in the original key, and yeah, it's high stuff. And, and he was just... Killing that shit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know um, but Satara, everything's down half step, and twenty five sixty four is in is in uh, E instead of A. So yeah, he dropped that whole fifth. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So but it sounds weird down that. It low, does. You know? oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, is Tony Harrell's his keyboard player now? I think. Is it? And. Uh, and Chris Rodriguez goes out with him when they do stuff too, and, yeah. and you know they, they musically pull the plug there. Um, yeah, weird happening. He's I know. recording, but I just all the gigs. Are, mm -hmm. uh, and I, yeah, I haven't talked to. Have you talked to Chris about any of that Satara stuff? Because that was I was kind of hoping to see him before. Yeah. You know, one more time, or whatever. Because I saw him on the last show they did. Satara, was it Chicago eighteen? Uh, no, uh, Chicago 18 was the first time Jason was That was Jason, so 17, 17 was his last was, one. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, dude, it was such a great show. It was in Austin. They they started in Austin, they did a world tour, and they ended up back up in Austin at the Irwin Center. And they started the show, and five songs in, there was no bass. There, you know, you hear the drum, but you do the thing, whatever. And then all of a sudden, I can't remember what song it is, but the bass <laughs> kicks in. They stop. And Satara goes, how about we start over? And they started the show over because the sub wasn't on the yeah. whole show. And then the oh crowd was like, oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> and I tell you what, and then they told the story. said, you know, this is the last show on the tour. And uh, and he was, he hadn't lost any. Yeah. I mean, it's just like, oh, my God. He um, was peaking. Yeah. He was peaking. Yeah. You know? And yeah. then the solo stuff. And yeah. And then, but he didn't want to tour as much as they wanted to. Yeah. This guy's almost stop. Yeah, they're even then he had a two year old daughter. He's like, guys, I want to tour this much, you know? Mm -hmm. And they were like, no, no, no. Yeah. And yeah. so, yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's amazing that they have that, that much. Do uh, you want to get pictures? I mean, we probably. 
Did you want to get B-roll stuff? Yeah, let's see. Yeah. Kind of faking it in there. Yeah. Things like Rex, can we take a pass? Yeah.